What's up YouTube? Well, I'm out here in the shop. Uh, I didn't get any video yesterday. Uh, it was just a ridiculously busy day. Uh, I was pretty much running my butt off all day and uh, I just thought I'd carry and get some video of uh, what I got accomplished. Here's uh, one of the uh, one of the things I was mussing around with on the shark. See, there's just a corn. I was going to make some baskets, uh, or not baskets, but um, produce boxes that had like, you know, a piece of corn like this on it and uh, try and paint it and then you know, chili pepper and tomato and things like that for the farmer's market and uh, kind of got that figured out. The uh, origin offset is one of the settings in the shark that uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, it uh, changes how far away the carving is from the Z axis, or not the Z axis, but the zero of all the axes. And yeah, I didn't realize the default, I think, was off by about four or five inches, and I couldn't figure out for the life of me that. And finally, I just uh, was started changing settings and figured it out. So yeah, the uh, origin offset is uh, something you need to monkey with. I really like these um, uh, just uh, mills here uh, that I got. Uh, I don't remember the name of the place, actually, but they're just uh, metalworking mills. Oh, to uh, linc.com. Yeah, I got some uh, mills from them, and I really like them. They do a really nice job. I really like this um, quarter-inch round nose for the roughing pass. I tried using a, an end mill for the roughing pass on these, and it didn't do anywhere near as clean a and fast a job as the uh, round, uh, you know, the rounded uh, ball end uh, mill there. Anyway, I'll uh, have some more videos on that when I actually get time to. I got a couple of cutting boards uh, made here, and I made a little jig for glue ups, or to make glue ups easier. And I waxed it down pretty good with some paste wax. So I'm really hoping the cutting board doesn't end up glued to the uh, jig here. But uh, yeah, there's the there's one of them. It's uh, maple, walnut, oak. Purple heart, and then uh, you know, just repeats on the other side. And then I made or cut out a couple more of them. Uh, those seem to be a pretty good seller, and I can crank them out. And I only have about 20 minutes or so in them, or 30 minutes or so, I guess, by the time you figure uh, sanding and everything. Anyway, there's a couple more of them. Uh, this I just cut out the pieces here in bulk, and I'll kind of arrange them however later. Sadly, I'm out of purple hard. I really like that, but man, that stuff's expensive. It's eight bucks a board foot. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was kind of starting some book matched pairs here. I thought this looked really cool. I thought it kind of looked like a demon head, but uh, my wife thought it looked more like a lobster. But I uh, started making some they're cutting out some book matched pairs here on the bandsaw. There's the resaw blade in there. And I, again, I'm just taking some eight quarter pieces of uh, walnut, buzzing them down through the bandsaw. You know, running them through the uh, sander just to take the uh, roughness out. Which man, that resaw king blade really does a nice job. It uh, doesn't really need a whole lot of sanding. And uh, coming up with some drawer fronts and door door fronts and things. The other day when I went down to Rockler's, I had an absolutely wonderful day. I guess I haven't showed this off yet. I got uh, an OF-1010, an OF-1400, and somewhere else around here, an MFK-700. Oh, it's over here. And I got it 25% off. They were in-store displays. I guess I can show the uh, MFK 700. Yeah, in-store display models and I got them 25% off. I was just absolutely thrilled. The only thing, uh, the OF 1010 had been dropped and this, uh, the top part of this knob was missing and then another one of these uh, screw knobs was missing and that's it. So I Happened to live pretty close to uh, Festool, and I stopped by there on my way back. Twelve dollars and ninety-one cents later, I got all the parts to put it back, and I ended up saving almost, you know, almost uh, three hundred bucks off uh, all three of these uh, by buying them that way. So it was pretty, pretty thrilled. Uh, that was a nice uh, trip. I just stopped by Rockler's because this bloody thing only comes with two clamps. And uh, that's not enough to actually hold down. I had a big 
uh, big piece in here and it just went sailing all around and got all kinds of screwed up but uh so yeah if you're buying a uh, if you're buying a shark buy some do yourself a favor and buy some more of these clamps and say they're only like six bucks a piece or seven bucks a piece just yeah, buy more of them anyway yeah, that was kind of a rambling uh, update but yeah anyway thanks for watching uh, click comment subscribe or check us out at the crawfordsville farmers market